fine Friday it is out there, y'all. Want to hear a P.O. positive? You tuned into the right frequency. P.O. positive for that key. Let's hear one from Mildred Meow Jenkins. Hi, Jack. I would like to thank our own Robert Harris for all the snow he shoveled from my driveway this week. He even brought a fish snack for my cats. Say thank you to Robert now, my dears. Way to go, Robert. Feel free to help clear out my driveway as well. It's only by a quarter of a mile. <laughs> and it'll probably need shoveling because more snow's coming. But we're back to bright and sunny skies later today. Back to the music. Hi, Beth. Got a delivery for you. Uh, where do you want it? Oh, dear, Thomas. I almost didn't see you come in there. I was lost in thought, I suppose. Please just put it on the counter, if you will. Thank you. And thank you again for a lovely Christmas dinner. I had a marvelous time with you all. We loved having you over, Beth, as always. Emily and I had a great time. about that news of yours. I was afraid it would perhaps put a dampener on the evening, but I was happy we could celebrate together nonetheless. It was quite a shock for both Emily and myself, to be honest. We've known each other for so long, practically part of each other's furniture. Let me guess, I'd be your bookshelf. Yes, and we'd be your mailbox. <laughs> or I would be, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I will miss you too, as Helen Keller once wrote. So long as the memory of certain beloved friends lives in my heart, I shall say that life is good. We'll miss you too, Beth. So, haven't you ever thought of moving closer to Meredith over all these years? She is living quite a ways away, right? <sighs> thought about it? Yes. Your news has put things into perspective, I suppose. But leaving here would sure be a big step. M maybe too big, I don't know. Who knows, maybe Meredith will even make it out here one day. <laughs> and there's always the phone, of course. And don't forget the Postal Service. Binding the nation together. Well, I won't keep you any longer, Thomas. I need to sort through this new delivery you've just brought in. And believe you me, that's going to take me a while. I understand. It's best to take your time with things like that. Exactly. Whether one likes it or not. Until next time, my friend. Up and at em. See you, Beth.
reversal. <laughs> Nobody's home. Another day, another dollar. <laughs> I'm starting to sound like Frank. Fancy handwriting on this one.
another satisfied customer, unless it's Bill's. Christmas gift? Maybe. Ah, look who's here. Hey, Thomas. Yeah, I needed to take care of some stuff. Hardly any customers at the post office anyway. there's someone who needs to send something urgent. If it's really urgent, I'll drive it over to the distribution center myself. They know they can count on me. Can't say that you're wrong there, Frank. That big sucker you're carrying is for me, huh? <laughs> right on time. It's all coming together. Hey, Thomas, you can keep a little secret, right? Now, of course, Frank. Great. It's not a big deal in any case. A buddy of mine was able to get his hands on some premium quality fireworks. I'm selling them with a nice profit. And anything I can't sell, well, let's just say you want to be outside Moe's Diner when the clock strikes 12 on New Year's Eve. Frank, that sounds illegal and dangerous. In other words, classic Frank Coleman. Just how I like it. Ha <laughs> Thomas. Wouldn't life be boring without a walk on the wild side every now and then? Uh, but do you have any experience with setting off fireworks? Who needs experience? Just light the fuse and get out of Dodge. I better finish up, Thomas. Can't keep the customers waiting forever. All right, Frank. See you at the office. Okay, let's get this to its destination. Okay, so we still need to check Spanner Dam for the mood shots. According to this, it offers damn fine views, so. Hey, Mr. Mailman, come on over. Talk to us for a sec. Gabe. We don't have time for idle chit-chat. He can help us out, Ilsa. No one knows the town like a mailman. Right, Mr. Weiss? Hey, Mr. Serrano. Miss Richter. Please, call us Gabe and Ilsa. 
You can call you Gabe and Ilsa. I prefer Miss Segment Producer Extraordinaire. And you can call me P.O.'s Premier Parcel Provider. Thomas for short. <laughs> anyway, we're scouting out this beautiful town of yours for our report on small town America. It's great, but we could use the inside track. So, any secret spots we're bound to miss, but shouldn't? Well... The watchtower up at Eagle Peak. You can take in the view among the treetops. But make sure you watch out for those creaky steps. Oh, hey, Maureen. Now, here's your coffee, folks. Sorry for the delay. <sighs> Faucet's been acting up again, which should have been fixed yesterday. Oh, you want me to check on it, Miss Hennessy? Oh, now look at you. My knight in woolen armor. Would you, dear? I can take a look. Well, isn't that nice of you? Uh, back of the kitchen, honey. Ashley, someone who does know what he's doing is coming in. Uh, show him where the busted faucet is. A and stay out of his way. Ashley's a sweetheart, but when it comes to fixing things, <laughs> that boy is all thumbs. See, this is what the segment should be. Interacting with the townsfolk, helping out. I love it. Does he actually know anything about faucets? Yeah, you're in good hands, Maureen. Gabriel may look and act like a naive little pup, but he can fix anything. Well, except for our fan. But other than that... Oh, is that a fact? Well, in that case, I can think of a few more things he could fix around here, if you catch my drift. <laughs> Maureen, there's a lady present. Hmm. Uh, let me just go check him out. Uh, check on him, I mean. <laughs> so, anyway. So? Oh, uh, wait. You had the Connor Price experience the other day. Have you recovered yet? <laughs> I actually encountered him outside the motel yesterday evening. He was a lot nicer this time. Really? Oh, did he greet you with, good to see you, man? Yes, how did you know? That's his go-to when he's forgotten your name. It's good to see you, man, for guys, and hey, lady, for gals. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't worry about it, though. He called me Lisa for the better part of a year. Connor's a lot. But I guess after this week, I can update my resume with not just segment producer and car problem solver, but also... Connor Price Wrangler. Gabriel seems very nice, though. That should make things easier. Oh, yeah. He's a big old puppy dog. He's as uncomplicated as Connor is complicated. So, that's a welcome antidote. Well, now, sounds like someone is getting a little warm under the collar for our Gabriel. Just between you and me, honey, I have a hunch that feeling is more than mutual. Maureen, is the faucet fixed yet? All I know is, I just spent five minutes with our knight in the kitchen, and during that time, he mentioned Ilsa about 12 times. Really? Well, ah. Uh... Faucet's all better now, Mo. And we should be hitting the road right about now. Right. Thanks, Maureen. Nice talking to you, Thomas. Bye now, folks. Be sure to check in again soon, you hear? Huh. These TV folks sure know how to liven things up, don't they? Indeed, Maureen.
They're the talk of the town, all right. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, you know about my little New Year's Eve shindig, right? I'm counting on you and Emily. We'll party like it's 1986. Because it will be. <laughs> of course we'll be there. Wouldn't miss it for the world. Now best get back to it. See you, Mo. Bye now. Sir, that would be me. Ah, fantastic. It's a pleasure to talk to you. Uh, my name is uh, Christian Carmichael, and I represent Fly Into Florida. Oh, uh, hi there. I, I have great news for you, Mrs. Weiss. It's been a while, but uh, do you perhaps remember entering into our Fly Into Florida sweepstakes? Um, now that you mention it, I think so. Yeah. Was that the one on the back of the juice carton? That's the one. And I am more than happy to tell you that you are the winner of the grand prize. The grand prize? Wow, uh, fantastic. Um, I'm afraid I've forgotten what it was. Could you refresh my memory a little bit? Uh, uh no problem, Mrs. Weiss. Uh, you have won a two-week trip to Florida for two. Wow, F Florida, really? I won? I have never won anything in my life. Uh, hold on, I need to tell my husband. Honey, we won. I'm talking to a gentleman from Fly Into Florida, and he says we've won a two-week holiday for two. Get out of here, Florida? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Isn't it great? We're so happy. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. You've got plenty of time to let it all sink in. Uh, next, we'll be sending you an extra special envelope. It will contain a confirmation letter, airline tickets, hotel tickets, and I totally forgot to say this earlier, a $500 check covering any additional expenses. Oh, wow. I can't believe this is happening. Well, it most definitely is, Mrs. Weiss. And... We'll be making sure you both have the time of your life. There's one thing I must stress. The dates can't be altered. So if you have plans for the first two weeks of September, this would be a great moment to change them. And I hope this answers all of your questions for now. Congratulations on winning. And we look forward to seeing you fly into Florida. Thank you. Bye. I think I need to sit down for a moment. Florida. Oh, uh, that's Robert. S sorry, honey. I, I can't celebrate with you right now. But I'll make it up to you tomorrow night at Moe's. Mm, I will hold you to that. <laughs> Have fun on the ice, hon. And when you start to freeze out there, just think of sunny Florida. Oh, boy. Drilling a hole. Get that fire pit going. Ice fishing's a lot of work. That's cold, but we're fishing all right. <laughs> the 
Great stuff, Robert. Thanks for taking me along. No problem, Thomas. Wouldn't have enjoyed it half as much by myself. Man, it's nice out here. This setting could use a guitar. Yeah, some guitar tunes would sound nice right now. It'd be a shame to disturb the peace now, though. Hey, what was Emily going on about when I picked you up? You guys are going to Florida? <laughs> yeah, well, apparently we won a two-week trip. Wow, congrats. Not that Florida's my cup of tea, if I'm honest. Oh, you'd rather stay in good old P.O., huh? Yep. I'm perfectly happy with what I've got right here. P.O. is great, but... Is it also a good place to meet someone? Uh, I know what you're hitting at. The answer's no, of course. But maybe this is what I need right now. Yeah, just give it a little time. Or a lot. Nothing wrong with that. <sighs> Wouldn't it be ideal if Mrs. Wright dropped by my house one day? Certainly. And also quite improbable. But you never know. Let's drink to that. Would be a shame if Emily filled that flask of yours for nothing. Ha! Finally a sensible remark. Cheers. Now let's catch a fish and get the hell out of here.